In this video, we will be covering 10 ways in which this lovely place that we call the universe could end. We would like to mention that this is not the same thing as the 10 ways the world could end. That is a separate video and focuses solely on the Earth. We will be focusing on the whole universe in this video. Anyways, let's get started. Number 10, the Big Freeze or Heat Death. Even though the Big Freeze sounds daunting and terrifying, there are definitely worse ways for the universe to end than this one. This death of the universe is like having the universe die of old age rather than some catastrophic event. Here's why. The universe is expanding fast, really fast. In fact, the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. Because of this rapid expansion, all of the matter in the universe is slowly starting to move away from each other. So in about 100 trillion years, it is predicted that gas clouds will no longer be dense enough to form stars. Meaning that after about 100 trillion years, the universe will go dark. Eventually, given enough time, black holes will make up what is left of the universe for roughly 1 million Google years. That's a one with 106 zeros behind it, just in case you were wondering. But even black holes will evaporate and eventually all matter in the universe would be evenly distributed throughout space. Then, after all of that, the Big Freeze predicts that nothing will happen. The universe will just be completely burned out and will stay in a state of eternal darkness at a temperature extremely close to absolute zero. Number 9. Universal Collision just a few decades ago, this hypothesis seemed like science fiction. However, with recent observational evidence, it might actually be possible. The universe collision hypothesis is based on a few pieces of evidence that we cannot explain about our universe. One of which is that the universe's expansion is speeding up. Now we say that dark energy is responsible. However, we don't know what dark energy is. We don't even know if it's dark or energy. So we should probably just call it something else like Fred. One explanation for our universe's expansion is that the universe is in a multiverse where external forces are making our universe expand. And if our universe is in a multiverse, then it is likely that there are other universes with different laws of physics nearby. Another piece of evidence that we live in a multiverse is that there is a cold spot in our universe that is very, very hard to explain. This is because most of our galaxies in our universe are fairly evenly spread out throughout space. But for some reason, there is a giant super void that spans 1.8 billion light years in diameter. Physicists say that this could be evidence of nearby bubble universes in the multiverse. So what would happen if two universes collided? Well, we don't really know. It could be catastrophic, where all of space-time gets ripped apart and our universe gets completely destroyed. Or it could be like when two balls collide, where both universes will just bump into each other and then go separate ways. It could also mix the two universes together and combine our two into one. Regardless, a universe collision is probably something that we would not want to experience anytime soon. Number 8. The Big Crunch this hypothesis was one of the most popular theories for the end of the universe for the last century. This scenario states that the average density of the universe would exert enough of a force on space-time to eventually stop its expansion. Then, after the expansion of the universe stops, it would slowly start contracting. So instead of all of the stars and galaxies floating away from each other like they are now, they would start coming closer and closer together until they are all crunched together into one single point in space-time. Afterwards, we don't really know what would happen. The universe could stay crunched up together for eternity, or something else could happen, like the next item on our list. Number 7. The Big Bounce So the Big Crunch seemed a little depressing, right? Having everything staying crunched up into a single point in space-time doesn't sound like too much fun. So what if, after the Big Crunch, there was another Big Bang? Then, another Big Crunch. Then, another Big Bang, and so on. This theory is called the Big Bounce, where the Big Bang and Big Crunch are just one giant cycle that occurs all the time, forever. In this scenario, this means the universe will constantly end and then be reborn and then end, and then be reborn over and over and over again, forever. Number 6. Death by Black Holes Almost every single galaxy in the universe has one thing in common. Each one has a supermassive black hole at its center. These black holes have diameters between a few million kilometers and several billion kilometers. 
That's about the same diameter as Neptune's orbit around the sun. Now, as you have probably heard, black holes have such high density that once one of these monsters has you in their grasp, nothing can escape it, not even light. And considering that black holes have been around for billions of years and they will be around for trillions more, you might start to think that these black holes will consume everything in the universe given enough time, and you might be right. Scientists say that it is possible that before all of the stars in the night sky burn out, that all of the black holes in the universe will have consumed the vast majority of the matter in the universe, meaning that every single atom that has ever existed will now be a part of a black hole's singularity. Number 5. The False Vacuum Out of all of the items on our list, this might be the one that keeps you up at night. So we think of space-time as a completely stable thing. It has never had any fluctuations that we know of, so there is good reason to believe it never will have any fluctuations, right? Well, there is actually a decent amount of evidence that space-time may not be stable after all. It might in fact be in an unstable state right now and might prefer to change towards a more stable state over time. So if space-time were to fluctuate at some small point out there in the universe, then it could potentially spread and obliterate everything in the universe. And one of the most frightening things about this is that we would have no warning. This obliteration would occur at the speed of light, so all of humanity would cease to exist within one nanosecond. And the scariest part by far is that this event might have already occurred somewhere in the universe and could be heading towards us right now, and we just don't know about it. Number 4. Unstable Time Another thing that people take for granted is time. Most people think of time as a constant throughout the universe. However, recent experiments over the past several years have shown that time might actually be something physical, like a time crystal. Yes, those are a real thing. So it was recently proposed that time might actually be an unstable property of space that could randomly change in the near future. So what would happen in this unstable time scenario is that all of time and space would immediately just stop. Forever. Time would not move forward, and everything would not move ever again, unless the arrow of time was restored. So think about this, there is an extremely small possibility that this has happened, and is always happening, but we just don't know about it. Between this word and this word, the time in the universe may have been frozen for a million years and we would not have known about it. Regardless, all we can do is hope that the arrow of time keeps moving forward and hopefully never stops. Number 3. The Simulation Ends one big hypothesis about the universe that has been gaining traction over the last few years, thanks to figures like Elon Musk, is that we are living in a simulation. This theory states that all of reality, including the Earth and the universe, is in fact just an artificial simulation. Now, the reason why we could be in a simulation is quite questionable. It could range from being inside a computer of some celestial teenager that is playing their version of The Sims, or it could be like The Matrix, where our consciousness is plopped inside of an artificial universe to keep us busy. There are several long-shot experiments that are currently being constructed in order to test if we are living in a simulation or not. However, even if we do find out we are in a simulation, what would we do about it? And why would a celestial programmer let us know why we are in a game? There are just so many questions with this hypothesis. Number 2. The Big Rip In what some scientists call a probable and amazing end to the universe, the Big Rip is one of the most fascinating hypotheses that has a decent probability of actually happening. The Big Rip states that the universe's expansion is speeding up, and will keep speeding up over time. Eventually, in about 22 billion years, the expansion of the universe will become so fast that it will actually rip apart the very atoms that compose this universe, therefore ending everything as we know it. Number 1. The Eternal Universe Sorry to burst your bubble, but there is more and more evidence coming out supporting that the universe is actually way, way, way bigger than we can see. In fact, the universe might be infinite. If that were the case, then it is possible that the universe has been around forever, and might be around forever. The observable universe is 93 billion light years in diameter. However, a recent estimation of the potential full size of the universe put the universe at 100 sextillion light years in diameter, if not more, potentially infinite. To put things in perspective, that would be like us thinking the universe is the size of a basketball, and the real universe is the size of the Earth, or infinite. 
Now these numbers and theories sure boggle the mind, but you know what doesn't boggle the mind? Hitting that like and subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us if you did that. We are a small startup company and we could really use your help. If you want to start selling online, make sure to check out joysk.com. You could start posting items for sale online within two minutes. It's that easy. And if you are low on supplies, make sure to take advantage of Joysk's two-hour delivery on over 1,000 items. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.